foremost, what's most important to us is customers. Uh, we've built our business on relationships, uh, much like how we got into the relationship we have with Shepin and Murray. My grandfather, you know, always had a saying, once a customer, always a friend. Uh, you treat people uh, as if they're in your home uh, when they're in your store. And I think that's one of the reasons that the Murrays and the Mitchell family, uh, you know, have gotten together is we have similar values about what's important. Vineyard Vines was born in 1998 when two brothers from Greenwich, Shep and Ian Murray, took the chance on manufacturing and selling short runs of unique, high-quality neckties in Edgartown on Martha's Vineyard. For years, the two had worked on Wall Street as well as advertising and PR firms in New York. They were only in their 20s when they decided to shelve their New York City jobs for good, leaving both their suits and commutes behind. The idea of the company started when, when Shep and Ian were, they were just sitting on the beach and they, they looked at each other and they said, you know what, let's start a necktie company. You know, this, this could take off, you know, let's just give it a shot. And pretty much on their last day of work for both of them, they, uh, they got their wisdom teeth pulled while they still had health insurance. They bought a car while they still had some credit and took out a cash advance of about $9,000 and started a necktie company. And on the uh, 4th of July that, that summer, they went out to the vineyard with a backpack full of ties and just went around to everyone that they saw, telling them about their story, telling them about the risks they took, and pretty much sold out of the ties. So I think at that point, they finally looked at each other and said, I think we got a good idea here. Let's give it all we got. And I think they've created a spirit and a culture um, that really is about having a good time and having fun and at the same time, hard work um, and they've created something that's really special and the customer has a real attachment to the brand and their story. They started a necktie company so they would never have to wear them again. And that was, that was the point of the company. In 2006, Inc. Magazine voted Vineyard Vines one of the fastest growing businesses with revenues cresting over $23 million, a three-year growth rate of 569%. Vineyard Vines has expanded its product line since its inception to include women's apparel as well, in addition to custom-designed neckties worn by dignitaries, including President Bush, John Kerry, and Michael Bloomberg. Shep and Ian are proud recipients of the 2004 Men's Dress Furnishings Association Award, and they were recently named Entrepreneurs of the Year by Ernst & Young. In their youth, Shep and Ian had a grand opportunity to see the world with their parents, who worked as travel journalists, also learning along the way what the good life was all about, and perhaps planting a seed for their future endeavors. I always have customers coming up to me saying, you know, where's Shep and Ian right now? What boat are they on? You know, what island are they on? And these guys work very, very hard to make it look like they don't do a thing at all. But like I said, they're the first ones there, they're the last ones to leave, and I mean, they're in it for the long run. And they're, and they're very dedicated. The Murray brothers are committed to both community and environmental issues, evident from their work with groups such as the Coastal Conservation Association, which is concerned with the conservation of marine resources. Having lost both their parents to cancer, they contribute a great deal of their time, effort, and philanthropy to institutions that are fighting this devastating disease. This summer we had a concert on Martha's Vineyard at a venue called The Outerland, where we actually sponsored multiple concerts throughout the summer. And all the proceeds went to um, scholarship funds for, for local students on the island and also for Martha's Vineyard Hospice. And we raised lots of money for, for a great cause and we tried to combine something that, you know, Shep and Ian are passionate about, you know, that being music, and also trying to just benefit some, some local charities and, and organizations that could be, um, that were in need of it. They really are very much into just, you know, living the life of the brand. This is not something that's made up, it's really who they are. Um, I've gone fishing with them. They really do embody uh, what the brand is and what they stand for. You know, they're the young uh, kind of entrepreneurial spirit that is just so intoxicating. Uh, it's great to be a part of it.